Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. Hey y'all everyone, welcome back to another NBA Playoffs and we are all ready to take the final game of the third game, the triple header of the Bucks and Cavaliers in the fourth game. We've already finished two other games in the Western Conference, as we already have spoken out, but we've seen the Timberwolves got crushed by the Grizzlies with a two streaking wins of three and four. Then the next game, it was the Pelicans and Suns, but the Suns had made a shout out win over the series of New Orleans Pelicans as they couldn't able to answer it all with the best plays that they have done so far. Yeah, of course, because what they have done here so far, because those players on the average have gotten some higher rankings in between themselves, it is all that they have placed it here in for the first seed position here. They've played a lot of hard games that they have already done. Not for anybody. They really gotten a lot much worse here, and they, they couldn't be able to answer it back, because what they happens is, it is all they have. That was like a toughest game here that they ever played here before. That was very hard for them to be brutal. So the Suns are moving on to the second round to face against the winning team in the against the fourth or fifth seed. Right now the Jazz is in the lead series by 3-0. But there might be some solution that can be a little bit change off here. There's a chance to make them pay. Right now, let's have the Bucks and Cavs do the pressure things again and again to start the fourth game in the playoffs at Cleveland, Ohio. So it's time to raise it up, step it up, and let the games begin. Here we go. The Bucks coming into the arena, confident they'll be walking out of here with a precious win on the road. Looks like they're ready. Back at the quick at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, they might be ready for everything. The famous East Fourth Street, busy as ever here in Cleveland, Ohio. Hello out there. And it's going to be a very interesting game because all we have though is the Cavs. Yeah, we're back here for the fourth game of the season. They have already won third game. It's down 2 1. Here's Allie on the old side. Well, the NBA's play in tournament is exciting. It's a way to keep teams in the mix, but it's had its share of critics. Luka Doncic said, quote, I don't understand it. You play all season to get into the playoffs. Then maybe you lose two in a row and you're out? I don't see the point, guys. Yeah, well, yeah, thanks for that one here. Well, it's been six. all the top six they have. Thank you. Right, all those players are ready to re rehydrate and ready for game four as it now comes down in the book here for the fourth game in Cleveland. Starting matchup has occurred here as Marketing and I the Copo are the key matchups in a point forward. And let's have a look at Marketing's status. The status for Marketing has already have gotten some increasement that they have played here so far. With all the time, how does it become the best player that he has already have been in the uh, in the bottom of the lineup that have already occurred for the team there, Mipho? Well, because of marketing, he has a bunch of uh, players that they can definitely be honored. Most of the time for marketing, after playing with the Bulls for the season, it can be very difficult in the range to try to work things up here on the road. Garland, what a start for the three-pointer! And the Cavs are on the board to start things off. No, that's not it, because there is more on the way. Anacumpo in the paint, and he has a first two in the season. The season always keeps drowning in the end. They soul really turns out for the Greek three. Might be, might be uh, tough enough to be ready to take the inbound. Garland, Andre Holiday, passes to Mobley. Portis Jr., finding Garland. Takes it back to Mobley for three. Good! A second three-pointer for Cavs. It's now six to two. All, all 
Golf and Rurley News at Evan Mobley with a three-point adopted. Mobley back to Forrest Jr. Back to Holiday. Moves right to Conde Cooper. Almost went by himself with a travel. On a Kupo. Wow! The slam is picked up. The Greek freak showing no option about that one. Says, shush out there. It's my turn. He's like on the fight. He might be uh he might be going for a heavy matchup. Garland inside, rejected by Holiday. Levert in the bottom. Rebound by Anakumpo. Anakumpo's got his first rebound here for the Milwaukee. It's now 6-4 run. Allen back to Middleton. That ball's loose, and it's Okoro with the steal. Okoro's got his first one, might be going for it. Oh, wow. Garland has already picked up a stunk here. And he, Okoro with the assist has put up the land himself, the crusher. Holiday outside. Moves back to Portis Jr. Portis Jr. inside, and he scoops inside, makes a great layup drive. Portis Jr. has gotten this first book of the season. Might be, uh, might be doing it for a tough look here in game four, and they might be averaging up the second time. Okuro, back over to Levert. Back to Markkinen. Six to shoot for Cleveland. Over. And for the two, the three. There you got it! That's a first three pointer and averages up by 11 to six. On a Koopa with the ball. Back pass, holiday for three. Good! That's on a Koopa's first assist. And now it's 11 to nine run. Under two minutes for the first quarter. Garland to Markkinen. Anakupo on him, Mobley outside, Portis Jr. in the wing to try to help him stop the bottom. Inside Mobley, rebounded by Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton has got his first rebound here for this game. No points average yet, but there might be a one for him if he can try to go for it. Mobley back to Allen. Back to Portis Jr., six to shoot. The two is off the target. Mobley receives his first rebound, and now it's Garland with the, with the ball on attack on offense. Finds Levert. Allen around marketing with a two. Rebounded by Anakumpo. Anakumpo has got just another uh, attempt to make the, uh, the play making. He is just going for another chance here. I mean, he's like doing it again. Anakumpo inside, reverse scoop is good for Anakumpo. Six points in the game, it's 11 tie score. Garland on holiday. Back to marketing. Back to Levert. Allen try to hold the pressure on him. Screen on Mobley. Back to Mobley. Face around Portis. Another miss by Cavaliers. And another miss for Cleveland. Anakuba to Portis Jr. Now he finds Allen. Three pointer for Holiday. That's good. He's got his first lead pointed for tonight. Drew Holiday has got his first three pointer in the game. He knows his average. He's got some great, uh, great, great fearing man to get them all his own. Rebounded by Allen. One second to go with a half court shot. It's tough and no shot made. 14 to 11, Milwaukee in for the lead by three. Second quarter will be up after the break. Yes, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Get off social media. That's it, just spend time with your family, spend time with your teammate, and just come here and do your job. I think uh, you don't sit against yourself. You, know, you just go out there and play hard and uh, give everything to the team without thinking about nothing else. He's already confident that time. I know for him, for Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's like going on social medias, spending time with your friends, playing with your teammates, and also that's that's what you do. Every routine you do, you make some changes out there. That's what you're real life. And we're right for the second quarter, ready to start the action here as we have all new changes of players are checked in, except for Holiday to be back still on the court. 
Here's Osmond. He only had scored just uh, decent here in the third game. Kevin Love with the screen. Outside, Love. Good on the three-pointer. It's Osmond with the six. And they are all tied up now by 14. What a playmaking. Holiday. Inside, he goes down and slips down on the court. Look at that. That was on Drew Holiday that picks up his third dunk to fourth. Love outside, covered by Abaka. The overhead passes to Brown. Lopez, and it's stolen by Abaka. He's got his first steal as the first turnover appears to be on Cleveland. Lopez, back to Holiday. Back to Lopez. Inside around, Nora. Over Stevens. Tice D here for Stevens as he's picked up his first rebound. Stevens already have known this before. He, he's, he's definitely trying to like like keep him out keep him out of the range. He's trying not to let the man score if he wants to go for it. Love with the fade. Back to Osmond. Five to shoot. Cleveland and Cavs needs to get a shot on. Osmond can hit the two. Drew Holiday back in the ever lane. Now he has his first rebound for Milwaukee. New Aura as the last game is played against the Chicago. Only 893 point average. It's like already increasing here in a playoff position for real life. And if you're already tuning in to the NBA playoffs, make sure you watch now on TNT, ABC, and of course ESPN and NBA TV. That's a lot of games that we have here on a social media device there, Beat Phone. Of course they do. Love, what a playmaking! And they have got some good average here. The third tie is being held in game four. Nora moves over to Connaughton. Connaughton will help Abaka make a screen. Inside gets deflected away as Love takes a steal. Osmond alone! What a jam! It's Osmond with the dunk, and they are all pressured up to make the lead by two. Leading two, no changes have already made out there. CB Osmond all, all made his pressure. Two minutes left here in the first half. Connaughton scoring in from baseline is good. Drew Holiday makes another assist here, and it's now being helped again by 18. Timeout is being first called on Cleveland Cavs with a minute and 48 to go. The ball the tape should be here because what they have uh, momentum here that they have played here, and there is a number average that there is a chance here for Kevin Love. Kevin Love, he, he is already up in the. Uh, Doing great sometimes. He's already uh, back here on the court, and he missed out most of his games because of the pandemic, and also with a, with a difficult situation for them. He's not like putting it back in the uh, in the range out there. It can be very tricky for him to make the offside even even compared with from this angle to the other angle. And I'm not sure what's going to happen because all the other teams that they all know, well, it's a difficult uh, strength, and a situation might be occurring for their teams. They have it all being bombed up around and it might be very hard for them to work their way around. The new changes are being occurred for Milwaukee and Cavaliers as new players have checked in on the board. Three players goes down on the bench and three players comes on the bench. And with the same thing with the Cavs, it might be up for them too. Now Holiday. This is off to Anacupo. Double man on him, finds Lopez. Back to Anacupo. Get off my shoulder for Anacupo! And he has this lead up for the first. After Sunday with a win against Chicago, it's 18 points for Brooke Lopez as he's picked up his way through. Oh, get that out of here, Brooke Lopez! He's got his first dunk! Wow, look out! There's a heads up in the play for Brooke Lopez as he says that there is no time to pressure. And with that, no dunk ahead. Wesley Matthews scores his first drive and this will be his first bucket for the night in game four. 
Garland as Cleveland trails by four. Bad pass by the alley oop. It's taken over by Brooke Lopez. Here comes Ida Kupo and he makes a drive. Wesley Matthews with the assist as Ida Kupo with 10 points. Wow, they're disagreeing on them. How come the Cavalier fans really wanted to stop making the pressures? There is a, there is a tough chance. McCurr outside. He finds Levert for three. Good! That's the number three pointer for Levert. And they're down by three. Giannis Anacupo. He finds Middleton. Wesley Matthews for three. Rebound. It's picking back by Markkinen. 15 seconds left. Down to 10. And he tied it up. Mobley has got his first three and they tied it. This is all that turned out to be just like them. They're not sure what's going on for him. They are all, all over the place. Holiday makes the three. Oh my goodness. What a stop. Milwaukee really pushes the pressure out there. He's like an all-time champ that he played here before. First three-pointer for Webb Matthews. And made, Holiday made the buzz beater. And we close the first half, 27-24. We'll be right back with the second half after the break of the halftime show. All right, folks, it's time for the first half recap of Cavs and Bucks. And here's how they did in the first half of the game. That's all for now. Let's head you back to the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And we welcome you back here at Cleveland, Ohio to start the third quarter. And we have got some great scorings here. The buzz beater for Drew Holiday is a tough walk on. The walk on proving the blockness from his gaming average. He's has one, one and one for the rebound and block. And 11 points in the game? <laughs> that is crazy. His ultimate average can be a much more like he had never done here before. And we're all set to go for the third quarter. Fueled up and ready for, for the take. Right now the Korean lineups are being occurred. There's Darius Garland. There is uh there's Carlos LeBert. Then Markinen on the other hand. And then we have another one here. Evan Mobley. And across the other angle here is a Cora. Three-pointer regains control tied again for Darius Garland. He is a stunnable. Free for Allen. That hits him back for another three-point triple advantage for Milwaukee. They've got 30 to 27. Cleveland trailing by seven. Levert finds Garland. Warms it over to Okoro. Back to Markkinen. Portis on him. Garland for three. Doesn't hit the triple at time. It's Anacumpo with the rebound. Portis Jr. backing over his Anacumpo. Back to Middleton. Middleton trying to whop it through. Back to Portis Jr. With the two. Rebounded by Mobley. Mobley may have a, a better, better occurrence than his average. This is all turning out to be good. Three pointer, nobody on LeVert, and are trailing by one. 25.2 is the average of the uh, pointage goals. They've goal, they all come up to be going for another attack. Allen, right back to Holiday. Anakupo helps the screen. Oh my, that's Drew Holiday, another slam dunk going the other way. They know what they did. Whoop it inside, whoop it in the paint, and go with the dunk. Un wow, wow. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, but this is all they have. Timeout, called on Cleveland with 3.03 remaining. And tune in tomorrow, because you will have the 
76ers play against the, the Toronto Raptors, I'm sorry, the Chicago Bulls for game four as the Sixers are on the board. Chicago leads in the leading series of two over one. And then stick around for the second game of Celtics and Raptors. Celtics lead the series 3-0. This could be another shout-out win and a shout-out loss for the first round of the Raptors. Well, this happened here since 2020. That might be on the uh, average to keep the uh, pointage on the board for the Raptors. That's because they are really trying to like stop the pressure here for the Celtics, but this is all they have got, gone up so far. They really have a higher average rate. Look who's coming under the court. Come on and get loud for your powerhouse dance team. Some changes for the Cleveland Cavs and the Bucks. As Connaughton is checked back on, of course with Brown, and for, and for C.D. Osmond, along with Kevin Love. Love for three, you bet! Another three-pointer for Love, and the Cavs still tight. He is knocking things down the board again and again. Watch him for tonight. Wow, Serge Ibaka, you can feel the heat of Serge Ibaka. The Cavs are trying to lose the breaking down on defensemen. They are really gotten some fighting average here in between those guys. Sometimes they win, sometimes they don't. Osmond against Allen, love with the screen. Open look for Love. The three pointer over her lane, no good. Allen finds Milton. Abaka, right back to Allen. And now switch it into motion on a floppy step. Bounce pass to Dora. Fades. Middleton for three. He gets it to go. Middleton has got his first three-pointer of the game. And it's Nora with the assist. This all really stand out for, for Chris Middleton that worked his way through. He got it all. Jump ball coming up. And that will be Love and... Ibaka in the move, and one more block, mobile one block has already picked him up. No foul on Brook Lopez. He says, "Give me that." Wow, that's a that's a tough fun play inbound here. Almost would have called the foul, but it may be a give it off to Bucks with the first block of the game. And it's Milwaukee with the winning jump ball. Nora passes off to Connaughton. Nora inside over Osmond. That's another scoring chance for Nora. He's got his first bucket. Nora really got, got great strength here. I'm quiet so far, but he's all, all in for his hands. And rebound up. Foul is tipped on Milwaukee. It's Nora's first foul, and the first team foul occurs on Milwaukee. With a minute and 17 to go. Now Stevens will head to the free throw line to shoot two. He's already that quiet. I'm thinking he might be uh, going for two. He might be he might be showing things by. Let's see how well he does. First free throw went off target. And now the new changeup has occurred for Brooke Lopez and Wesley Matthews checking in for Allen and Nora. Lopez Ibaka moves over to point forward, and four players checked out. Rondo, Garland, Osmond, and Love moves over to the center. The second free throw for Stevens is good. Milwaukee leading by six. Matthews right to Lopez. Milwaukee is moving around the ball quickly right in between the outside and inside. Brooke Lopez up. That's a good shot, Pointer, and it's Middleton. No, Ibaka with the assist. Brooke Lopez really got his first bucket here. I think he's going to try to like keep it in for again for tonight. Love outside. He dishes off to Osmond. Back to Love for three. Good! It's Osmond with the assist. 41 to 36 is your score. The fourth quarter, third quarter is winding down. 
And you see that board here? I love love. Well, I, I love Kevin Love. That's for him because he's he's the ultimate franchise player for the for the Cleveland Cavs. He's only for him tonight. Now, great drive for Chris Middleton. Now that's five as Milwaukee gets it to go with another layup. Love, right to Osmond. 20 seconds to play in the third quarter. And three second calls on Brooke Lopez. And it will be a technical free throw coming up for Cleveland. Kevin Love, over to got his uh, bounding board in the injury for his staff. Unable to play here for the last season. But now he has returned for this season. As they were trying to, uh, they're trying to make a trade off here for Kevin Love. But they are unsure what will happen. And I'm really concerning because if, if Kevin Love makes, uh, makes some changes here and goes with the other team, they all know that the Cavs are going to miss him that much because of all they got some lower uh, lower franchising players. They may not. They might be hunched up and could be in trouble. Sight. Here's Rondo covering in and back to Mobley for three. Out of range. In and out. Holiday back in the other lane. Back to Lopez. Back to uh, Holiday. Nice speed by Brooke Lopez as Holiday picks up 15. Levert, deep pass, no good, and he will hold the ball here. The third quarter has come to an end. It's 45-37. This could be another win for Milwaukee if they win it in the fourth game. One and two over the F1. We're just in between the matches. Two games in Milwaukee and one win in the third game. But well, let's find out what happens in the fourth quarter. It's coming up next after this. And now it's time to present the State Farm Assist of the Game. All we have turned out to you before, but the, the, the player we have already known, his only average is turning out even increasing that he had here. Middleton, drive, also with Brooke Lopez, he might be averaging up a second rate. This is all for him tonight. They're all doing really well. I'm glad you joined us here for the fourth quarter as we're about to finish things off here. It's now 45-37 as Cleveland is trying to work on work back in the lane. And for Bucks, they are back in the starting five group. Portis Jr. and it's Drew Holiday. And then Chris Middleton still on the court. Wesley Matthews and Giannis Anadokounmpo. They're in and out for Wesley Matthews who can't hit. Kuro hits up another rebound, and now Rondo in the corner, mark it out, oh he just went reverse! He was almost going to punch down on Giannis Antetokounmpo with the fight, and it looks like the Greek freak didn't show up. Bounce pass right to Portis Jr. Overhead pass on Antetokounmpo. Double man on him, three for Holiday. Another triple good for Milwaukee, and they are extending it. Up again by, I'm sorry, what, I, what was I going to say? I, I kept forgetting. I kept forgetting what the uh, number average is. They're leading up by, by nine. Another bad look here. Anakupo to Matthews. Back to Anakupo. Great feed by Wesley Matthews. And Anakupo gets a number two. It's 12 points in the game. All, all of a sudden, thoughts here. Bobby Portis Jr. has already made some great steals. Five steals for Milwaukee and two blocks. But it's already encouraged. What a playmaking. Levert, round over three. Good! The three-pointer average is up again. And they are trailing by eight. All way they know. They really would have paid more attention than they did here before. Baca right back to Portis Jr. Nice speed here all along the board. Middleton for three. Fires and makes it through. Take that bait. Take that bait and then give it off to the fish. Anagupo's got another rebound here. Another assist here. It looks like they're going for it again. Levert with the floater. That's a number two average for Cleveland. Seven points Levert for Levert. And now here's Ayana Kumpo. Backs over to Middleton. 
bounce pass to Portis Jr. Moves it quickly to Matthews. Matthews to Holiday. He's finding another run. They need to make some shots quick. On the Kumpo, he is he is not giving up. He is not losing his shot. He's like a superstar to legendary player. Well, that's all he can take. This is what he really plays for if he stands out for between the tricks of his own. Next time out is called by Cleveland Cavs as it's now down to 2.10 left to remain in the fourth quarter. It's been a great average out there. It's a tough long three games here for the triple head tonight. What do you think how the teams did here so far, Mifon? Well, they've really done a really great job out there. I'm really impressed with that. But they really got some uh, great or average of speed in his career. And it looks like they uh, definitely have a kill off making. And the pointing average here, they are all around the board. They are definitely right in the pressure. They really have done a great job. And they have some uh, greater uh, intense motion here in between the, uh, the opponent teams and the home teams. They've really got some uh, great higher uh, percentage right from between the uh, average rebounds, some three-pointers, and field goalie percentage. That's a very tough on walk-on crew here, my man. Down a new balance player in a game for the fourth game goes to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. Really seeming gives up in his best run. I'm really sure he can definitely do things again. Drew Holiday really knows his uh, averaging. We have the secret, and this time, he now knows he can step back into game five and take the win if the team is not picking up a streak or is picking up the lead. They might be averaging to take the attack down. He finds Levert. And now Allen will help, will try to cover the pressure on D. A goal for three. Good. And another three pointer is up again. 55 to 47 to score. We are under two minutes left here in the fourth quarter, and here's Anacumpo, past to Portis Jr. He finds inside. Great feed by Portis Jr. and number bucket for Holiday. That's 20, and puts a scoring lead over Kevin Love's 12 points. Wow, he's like only the best player, but he has ever done it. I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to like keep it going. Wow, Garland already made another three. And now turns to be a seven point trail for Cleveland Cats. Holiday back to Ana Kupo. Allen back to Portis Jr. Over again, Middleton. The drive. In and out. Another miss by Milwaukee. Middleton is on losing streak. He's just not giving up here. Morgan in for three. Good! And they're coming back in. We're down by four. Marking it and always applies for him. Now that's all what it turns out like he did here before. Portis Jr. back to Middleton. Outside is Allen. Back to Middleton. The fans are growing louder for the home team. Fade again. Once again, they can't make the shot. And it looks like LeBert will have to tie things off and they want to go for it or not. LeBert up, two-pointer no good, and they will have to give a foul for the Cavs. Now it's marking him with the first foul, first team foul on Cleveland. Holiday, Middleton for three, that's good! Middleton receiving 11 points, and Drew Holiday with the assist. Oh man, it looks like the Cavs are really un unexpectedly with a another breath of all moment. Garland for three, good. Number three pointer average is increasing. They're trailing by four. Now the foul is on Garland. His second, their, their second team foul, first personal on Garland. And Drew Holiday will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Looks like that. Looks like those guys, this number two seats, really get. Pushed their way up aboard. They've already really got, got some numbers on the outside. I love Cleveland. That's what it says here. His first free throw is good for Holiday. 
last time, if he makes it in, it will be the end. And he gets it. Timeout called by Cleveland with a last timeout with 25.2 seconds. And now for the team comparison, we have now is that the Bucks already gotten some a little trail here of the rebound. 12 rebounds for Milwaukee, 13 for the Cavs, 21 for the assists here for Milwaukee, and 19 for our Cavaliers. Five steals occurs, and only three steals for Cleveland. Two blocks only regains control, but no luck for Cavaliers to pick up a block. Now they have three turnovers for Milwaukee and five turnovers on Cleveland. This only average percentage is increasing. Every team they had for the field goals and three-pointers and the percentage, they really got a hard impact. Last changeup for Cleveland and for Milwaukee. Okoro finding a man average. Garland with three. Good! They are pushing their way through. 62-59, foul is on marketing. Second personal, third team foul on Cleveland. This is not going good so far because what happened here, they've already like missed it again. They just kept on going. And on a Cooper will head to the free throw line to shoot two. The first free throw, he tips it in. One more, and they will have another look up of the offense to try it again from the top. And two free throws for Ryan Acupo, sends it in. 16 points, he's like increasing the player. He is on fire. Levert on Allen. Garland for three. Good! Another three point range for Cleveland. Down to 10 seconds. And oh boy, another contact foul on Markinet. That's his third, fourth team foul on Cleveland. And looks like that Ivan Kufo is going back again for the second time. Oh yes, he really is. The Clevelands are wasting time right now. This all happens. When there's a chance, there is a will. If you see something, then you just gotta like, go right back to it. The first free throw was missed. And it's Cleveland that uh, makes the number two, or three pointer, they might have an average to try to slap it over. Second free throw is good. It will have some uh, different out of the range here to try to stop one. And they call the foul. And now they will call a timeout here for Milwaukee. Only 9.2 seconds. It's now a three point game for Milwaukee in the lead. Now this all turns out to be just changing here on offense and now this all needs to go for to stay on man-to-man -man average because what they've done now is this really goes for a, a big take. This all really goes for a, a bad pass here. But without any answer to take the to take the pop out of it, they really have done it so far. Only one timeout for Milwaukee, no timeouts for Cleveland. And it's now a three-point lead average. Garland still looking for his pressure. Cora to tie it. No good. 
The foul is on Love, and this will be their 15th foul. Well, the first foul only gives up here on Kevin Love out there. They know they really wanted to, they wanted to stop the pressure here. They wanted to call timeout and try to work it up a bit. Now Bobby Portis Jr. will hit the two free throws in the making. First free throw is good. If he makes it again, it will be the ball game winner. And that's it. Cleveland win with a with a crush on, on Milwaukee. And Milwaukee has the third streak of the game win. One, two, and four. Final score is 67 to 62. Now we can catch up with the post-game season with the resulting will be Ali LaForce. Ali, you take your finishing here for the player of the game. Giannis, you said these games start to matter more as you come down the stretch. Can you tell me more about that? Just coming out here, trying to play good basketball, trying to play together, and trying to get better. You know, we just try to get in that playoff shape and uh, just get better. Championship always on your mind. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Ali, thank you so much for your uh, time. Now, with the third game complete, we will be back tomorrow to do another matchups here of Sixers and uh, Bulls, Celtics and the Raptors, and the uh, Warriors against the Nuggets. Might be turning out for the next game here, but this might be all averaging up here for our next couple of games. Yeah, if it is true. Maybe all the all the fans of the uh, Cleveland's are all like disappointed out there. But this could be the end for them if they if they take the win or go home for Cleveland and the advantage for Milwaukee to head down to the second round if they win it again. So, this could be the average here when we come back for the fifth game. So, it's time now for the three star players of the game. Let's have a look at number three. This one goes to Darius Garland, a terrific 20 points of the season, postseason in game four. One dunk has performed, and only one rebound has already took an effort here to help him save the rebound. He only has three assists and the performance of his ending was 29. Let's have your take on your number two, Mifo. Number two all turns out to be Giannis Adekobo. 17 points, five rebounds, three assists, and just a, a fantastic dunk. 26 performance is not that bad. He's like already a killer, wants to stay quiet and also like be out there like he'd never done before. He hasn't performed any dunks, but he's like already on a force drive. What a play. Now your take on number one. All right, number one. This all turns out to be the New Balance player of the game. That was Drew Holiday. 22 points, two rebounds, three assists, one steal, and a block. Only two dunks has performed, and 30 was the ultimate performance run in game four. A history to making and making the buzz beater here. They've already got some good numbers here in first half. And that concludes the first uh, game first three games, we will stick around for the second three games in game number four, as you will have the next average to have the next commentator to help us out. So, for me and me phone, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs. We'll stick you around here for the next game four matchups, and then they will be back here for Cavs back at Milwaukee to face against the Bucks in game five. And with all the crew, I am Sonic Beast, and thank you for watching for this never playoff matchup. Until next time, peace out everyone for as well as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. Good night in Cleveland of the land of Cavaliers and fearing the deer of Milwaukee. See you guys tomorrow for the next games.